databases, we need them. If you're making an app and you want to mess around with something like a side project or you're dog fooding or prototyping something, you're going to need some data. And setting up a database and filling it with loads of data is boring and long. So what if we had a sample database that we could use? Well, today we're going to do just that. We're going to take a stock sample database provided by our good friends at Microsoft called AdventureWorks, and we'll use it to basically scaffold some sample data that we can use in an app. So what you're going to need for this super simple solution is a SQL Server Management Studio installation on your machine and a browser that simple first off we're going to navigate over to github and i'll leave the link in the description below so you can get to this but this is essentially the repository for adventureworks uh, now adventureworks has been for a long time a, a sort of sample database that people use when they just need some data uh, when they're developing an application so the idea here is that you either download the script run the script on a sql server and it creates the database or you can even just do what i'm going to do today and download the backup of the database and then restore it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download the backup i'm going to download a light version of the adventureworks database which i think is about eight meg uh, because if you're downloading the larger one, it's just going to take longer. And that wouldn't make for a very interesting video, would it? Once we've downloaded it, we'll open up SQL Management Studio and I'll show you how to restore a database and then we'll take a look at what we get. So first off on GitHub, I'm going to scroll down to AdventureWorks Full Database Backups. Now this is where you would get the full database if you wanted it. So you can see here, download size is 883 meg. So, you know, it's not massive, but still significant. What I'm going to download for this demonstration is the lightweight version, which is significantly smaller. So I'll click AdventureWorks LT2019.bak. Obviously, you can download the earlier versions if you like, uh, but I'm just going to go for the late latest version. Um, that's downloaded super quick, and then I'm going to open up SQL Management Studio. So once you're in SQL Management Studio, you want to log on to your local server. So you will need a SQL Server instance and then on that instance we're going to restore a new database which will be our AdventureWorks database. So head over to your top level and then underneath that you'll see databases. Right click that, click restore database and you'll get this dialogue. Now it's a little bit misleading because the options you get are to use a source of database or device. Device kind of suggests that you're restoring from another machine and it could be that but in most cases it's going to be a local location. So we'll select device and then you can click the browse button and head over to your location. So here the backup media type is file. You can get it from a URL if you want to but we're going to get it from a local location and then I'll click add to add the backup media. I'll then go over to the location that I stored my backup and there we go I'll select that click OK it's in the list, click OK again, and then we can name our database. So I'm gonna call this my prototype DB. And then we're gonna click OK. So there you go, straight away, SQL Management Studio is saying that database my prototype DB was restored successfully. And if we refresh databases over here, we can see my prototype DB. So let's take a look at the actual database that we've created. So if I look in tables, you'll see that we don't have many tables in this lightweight database, but we have enough if we wanted to scaffold a simple application and see the data on the front end. So if we right click the sales LT dot customer table and click select top 1000 rows, you'll see this is the data we get back. So straight away, we've got 847 rows of customer data. So you could use this if you wanted to just demonstrate a simple application with a table that shows various people, uh, their, their first name, middle name, last name, where they work, uh, the salesperson assigned to them. And then you can also start exploring how you can change the database, maybe alter its schema, uh, and show that in the front end. The other really good way you can play around with this is by using it to learn Entity Framework. So you could use Entity Framework to essentially scaffold this inside the application and then access these entities in code rather than using direct database calls. So I'll probably do another video following up from this using this database to display the data on the front end. And it also would be really cool to look at things like SQL injection uh, from a security perspective as well, because you could technically 
demonstrate a SQL injection attack on some safe data like this in the AdventureWorks database. Super simple video today, really straightforward, but for people who haven't got as much SQL experience and maybe have never restored a database before and just need some data for their prototype app or for their learning experience, then this is hopefully a really good solution. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for some more .NET goodness. Take care.